Well, we gotta see how this uh, W12 goes. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing a 2022 Bentley Continental GT. Before we get in the video, I do want to mention a huge shout out and thank you to Armor Max for giving me some time with this Bentley Continental. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the review. Under the hood of this Continental GT, we have a six liter W12 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 626 horsepower and then 664 pound feet of torque. You can also get a turbocharged four liter V8 that produces 542 horsepower and then 568 pound feet of torque. But uh, of course, you know, the W12 is the engine to get. And I love how this is displayed and look at all like the crossbars and everything there. Just definitely a cool setup. Now let's go over the front end of the Continental GT. So first off, I love this body line here in the center of the hood that goes straight to the Bentley logo. Definitely a cool aesthetic. And then you can see the front camera here that's been integrated into the grill. And then notice how the whole front grill has been blacked out. And then also down below, we do have parking sensors here on the front end. And then we have the coolest headlights that I've ever seen in my life. They have this cool crystal appearance. You can see just like all of the attention to detail within the headlight itself. Definitely a work of art. And then notice the venting here off to the side. And yeah, with everything together, definitely a really cool and distinctive appearance. Now coming to the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 22 inch wheels in the front and then 315 millimeter tires wrapped around 22 inch wheels in the back. So first off, we've got the B logo there in the center. We've got the Bentley brake caliper and look how large those rotors are. Again, 22 inch wheels and the rotors fill up pretty much the whole thing. And then here's a quick look at the front suspension. And then notice here with the fender, how it's molded in, we have our subtle 12 badge here on the side to flex and everyone that you got the W12. Now it's the black trim that goes all along the side. And then taking a few steps back, I love the side view of this, especially like the hips there in the back. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Now this is a key fob. Notice we've got the Bentley logo right here. And then we've got normal functions on the other side, you know, unlock, lock, and then opening here for the trunk which of course it's automated because again, it's a Bentley. So notice here with the carpeting, it is so plush and so soft for trunk carpeting, but you know, you got practical stuff. So you can see with the whole uh, battery pack and everything underneath there, I'm sure that's for weight distribution purposes. And then storage space is actually really good for a two door car. Then I'll say 12 volt right there. And then when you're done, you just press that and well, it'll lower back down. Now, finishing things up here with the rear, uh, this does have a deployable spoiler that you can basically push a button and then it'll pop it up. And then coming down below, you can see here with the tail, it's gonna have that really cool crystal appearance. And then I love the shape of the exhaust tip covers, definitely unique parking sensors on the rear. And other than that, that's kind of the view from the back. I'll quickly deploy the spoiler, show that to you guys, and then we'll pop inside. So here is what the spoiler looks like popped up in the rear and well there you go now let's go over the front door panel here so first off everything is covered in leather even all the way down to the very bottom i love the blue stitching that matches the exterior color and then you can see the silver trim here and look at this design just super super cool looking and then all the controls just the nicest materials and just the listen the sound they make same thing with like the mirror adjustment memory seats you've got this to open up the trunk and then look at the speakers here for the sound system again just the finish on everything is absolutely perfect and then popping here we're going to put the seat forward and notice it automatically goes forward so here for the uh, rear seats they're very nice looking as you guys can see and notice the design on the seats matches the design on the door panel and then notice everything is leather like up here on the top is leather down below and even here, like leather, 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 still leather. And you can see the beautiful metallic plaque here. And then notice Bentley is illuminated. Um, but I guess to finish things off with the rear seats, uh, you know, 
I'd use it for like storage space. I mean, you could technically fit people back there, but it's very, very cramped. And then the last thing we'll go over is just a couple cup holders. Now I just got charging ports, all that for the rear passengers. But yeah, that's all for that. Now going over the front seat, notice we got the Bentley crest again, finished in blue. And then you can see blue stitching all throughout the seat. And again, that same design that you have on the side of the door panel continues here, perforated leather in the center portion. And then notice here on the side of the seat, we have all of the different adjustments and it does have massaging seats as well. There's just uh, a lot of stuff happening here. So all you need to know is if there's an adjustment you want, this seat will probably do it. Here's the pedals down below. Again, notice the B logo. We've got our light controls here. And again, notice more leather all over. And then just look how nice the controls are. But let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel. So you can see perforated leather here on the outside and then you got the blue stitching here on the center portion. Just notice all the materials are really nice. Bentley logo there on the center. Beautiful paddles here on the back. Controls for the center stack. And then you got like your heated steering wheel control, voice command controls, all that. This is the only thing that's not necessarily like nice from a material standpoint, like that little dial is, but these are just kind of like plastic buttons. And then of course we have our little, you know, turn signal stock, cruise control stock down below. And uh, yeah. That is everything for the steering wheel area. Now here is the center gauge cluster. You can see full digital gauge cluster now with the new Bentley. Definitely a cool view as you guys can see here. And uh, you can see average uh, miles per gallon, 16.7. Not bad for having a W12. Um, but you can scroll through a few uh, different menus as you can see here. Uh, so like if I wanna go to the side, right? I can go to that. Yes, I know I need fuel. Uh, you don't need to remind me twice. There are some different drive modes too. And you can see it pops there on the very corner. So there's sport, there's the B mode, and then you have comfort, and then you have custom mode that you can go between. Most of the driving will probably be in comfort mode uh, with this car. And there you go. Now here is the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. You guys can see the camera system. So notice we have that bird's eye view and you can turn the trajectory lines and it'll turn the lines on this. And there's literally camera views out of every single angle, as you can see, pressing the buttons here with the camera system. So from a camera perspective, it's completely covered. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, we're gonna pop back to that. It does take a second load up. So you guys can see that is one thing about this infotainment system. It isn't necessarily the quickest, but it gets the job done. Notice, of course, the front massaging seats. You have basically shortcut buttons here on the side, and then you have the main screen, which if you go into the different tabs, it'll scroll through the different things. Notice we do have the suspension raise. So if you need something, need to go over something that, you know, is really high, like a curb or something like that, right? You've got that. And then notice with the retractable spoiler, and then there's even night vision as well, which you can turn on. Uh, so yeah, there's there's quite a few different cool little things that you can go through uh, now My favorite thing with the infotainment system is actually not the cool features. It's the fact you can press the screen button and you can flip it to be clocks You can press the screen button again and You can flip it to be the infotainment system like I Think this is gonna help this car age so well because again look how clean that looks and it's all in a line and So like yeah, I don't know one of the coolest things I've seen uh, in a new car, period. Notice here on the dash again with the material use, all of the leather here. And look at this, just listen. Like just, yeah, everything that you touch here feels so high quality. And again, we've got another clock there. So I guess if we uh, <laughs> press the screen here, let's see here. Okay, so temperature outside. Yeah, we technically have uh, two different clocks right here in the same place. And then obviously it tells us the direction as well um, but anyways vents down here and then we do have dual zone climate of course which you can see the controls for that on either side and then notice here with the zone so they actually have analog buttons for a lot of stuff for the climate system which is great heated and cooled seats and then this the rest of it's still climate stuff love the shifter with the giant b on it definitely feels very high quality got this for the parking brake stability control and then your hazard lights right here and then the engine stop start with the drive mode select that you twist auto stop start parking assistance and uh Let's see what this is. Press this again. So the screen flipped. Oh, it's just for the camera system. I was like, what does this have to do with? Uh, this is for the spoiler right here. And then, so slow, but that's for the cup holders. Center console has some heft to uh, lift it up, but notice it's got leather 
on it. Nice stitching as well. And then look at the nice metallic handle for the glove box. Normal glove box, nothing crazy happening there, but again, everything's covered in leather all over with that situation as well. Up top here, we have a traditional mirror and then the entire headliner is also leather, of course. And you can see you've got the side windows. So they also make this in convertible format. And so it's kind of interesting how they have the window set up. I'll show that a little bit better earlier or later. I can't talk today. We're just gonna keep that in the video because that's hilarious. But yeah, just no really nice material use here at the top. So I just wanna quickly show the interior one more time. Just notice all the stitching lines and the lines with the metallic trim all kind of connect together all throughout the interior, which looks really cool. And like I said, you got the side window that also comes down as well, which is kind of interesting. And then you got that that feeds the seat belt to you or the passenger. But yeah, just from an interior perspective, definitely one of the most beautiful interiors in terms of the design. But let's take this out and drive it. Quickly talk about visibility before we set off. There's your visibility of the hood. It also has a heads up display, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So, initially setting off here in the Continental GT. So, I've got it in the comfort setting. So, this is going to be like your daily driver setting. And uh, this road has quite a few bumps and uh, little potholes and everything. And so, we'll really be able to test the suspension of the Bentley. And first off, I want to mention these seats are amazingly comfortable again you got that massage function so you know from a seat perspective with all the adjustments with the massage and with just how nice and supple this leather is you're you're never going to get uncomfortable in these seats it doesn't matter how many miles you put on the car something else i mentioned is i love the feeling of the steering wheel having the perfect leather on the outside and the smooth leather on the interior it just having the two different types of materials feels uh, really good in your hands and something that actually surprises me is uh, again you guys remember i had that s class for a week and this actually rides a little bit rougher than the S-Class. Now, Bentley, they're like luxury sport is what they go for. And you can definitely feel that with the suspension. It's more tuned towards the sporty side of things rather than the luxury side of things, which I'm not going to complain about whatsoever because it's, it's definitely a fun ride. Pop into the B mode and see how that kind of change things up. One thing I do want to mention about uh, this powertrain, the W12, it is super smooth at low speeds. We'll see what it's like at high speeds, but it doesn't even feel like this car has an engine. I know that sounds weird. I know it sounds really weird to say, but I feel it like it, it feels very close to an electric car in terms of how much like low end torque it has and how it just keeps going and going. And it, there's like no lag when you go into the throttle and you hear a little bit of engine noise, but not a lot. And so again, it's just a really good experience. Continuing along a little bit further with the Continental GT. So as, as I uh, drove through the neighborhood a little bit more, what I noticed with this car is it drives very similar to a convertible. My guess, and I didn't do any research coming to this review on purpose. I, I typically do that. I know that might annoy some people, but is that this is the exact same car as a convertible. Like all the structural stuff is underneath and you can, you can kind of feel it in the driving dynamics with how it drives. It doesn't feel quite as rigid as like what I would consider like a true coupe. Uh, it's kind of what I'm experiencing with it. But uh, that being said, it still is an amazing luxury car, like very comfortable. I mean, getting into this and driving this around, it's like so well insulated. Uh, and something I didn't really mention too much in the walk around was the windows. Uh, they're very thick. Not like armored thick, but they are thicker and so it helps out with noise insulation. And so you don't hear a whole lot, like tire noise is, it's there, but it's very minimal. And like I said, engine noise, very minimal. Uh, everything on the outside, you're just kind of, you're kind of taken out of it with this car, which I really appreciate. And this road will also show you guys kind of like the handling here, a little bit, right? And some of the, how the suspension handles everything. Going over a couple of these little manhole covers. I'm, I'm super impressed so far with just the driving dynamics of this. Okay, so we're gonna pop it into the manual mode and well, we gotta see how this uh, W12 goes. <laughs> wow, 
That is quick. Lost a little bit of traction there for a second, but it, it, it puts down the power pretty well. Continuing along, we're gonna get another acceleration. Now this is gonna be in the automatic mode. <laughs> it's quick. It definitely shoves you in your seat. That is, that is a very unique experience. The, the power of this is just so seamless. Um, like I said, it, it pushes you in your seat, but there's also um, almost like a smoothness to it. It's kind of, it's, it's hard to explain without having you in the, like physically in the car, but definitely love the sound the exhaust makes though on overdrive with the little gargles. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mercedes AMG a little bit in terms of the sounds that it makes with the gargles. And the transmission is so quick. See if we can... Yeah, just listen to that. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Razor sharp. Uh, so yeah, let's sum things up here with the Continental GT. Uh, so first off, from an exterior aesthetics perspective, I love how this car looks. It is definitely one of the best looking cars out there and you know, definitely has the luxury car appearance. Interior, same thing, just, I mean, it's expensive and it looks expensive, right, from an interior perspective. And then in terms of driving, it definitely does mix luxury and sport. It's not quite as comfortable as dedicated luxury cars, but then it also has a sportier, more exciting driving experience. Like the handling's great, the acceleration's amazing. And so if you basically want like a top-notch luxury car that's going to give you a luxury car experience, but then you want to do a little bit of sporty driving on the side too, that's what the Continental GT gives you. Now that's gonna sum things up for our review on this Bentley Continental GT. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Armor Max for giving me some time with this Bentley. Check out their website in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.